It's possible that you're familiar with a friend of mine, uh, the late great Father Mike Moreau, who was a priest in the Archdiocese of Edmonton uh, and a friend and a colleague in youth ministry uh, in and around the Edmonton area. And he gave what I would say is probably the most memorable Ascension Sunday homily I think I've ever heard in 2012 when he managed to find a reason to pull out not one, but two lightsabers in the middle of his homily and to compare the Ascension of Jesus to the death of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original Star Wars movie. Now, I'll leave the link to that homily in the description below. Uh, it's, it's worth a watch. But what I want you to think about in the context of, of this particular reflection is Jesus' last words before he ascends to heaven. He looks at his disciples. He gives them instructions to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And then he says to them, I am with you always. I don't know that for a young person who might be watching this, that there's a more important verse to keep in mind. Matthew 28, 20. And remember, I am with you always until the end of the age. Now, it's worth knowing this because he's not saying, I'm with you on the days when you do the right thing. Uh, I'm with you on the days when you're successful. I I'm with you on the days when you're kind and generous and all those things. I am with you always it means I'm with you on your best days. I'm with you on your worst days. And I'm with you on every day in between. And that might seem like a strange statement to make on on a day when Jesus is ascending and essentially he's leaving the disciples behind. But you need to remember what we, we heard about last week with the Holy Spirit and what we're going to celebrate next week with the Feast of Pentecost is the fact that Jesus can be trusted to keep his promises, that he doesn't leave us alone, that in, in this mysterious, uh, incredible, awesome way, he stays with us and he's with you right now, wherever you're watching this whatever you're going through and whatever you're doing. He's with you and he loves you and he will never abandon you.